So you've opened your first Showit account, you've chosen your template, and now I just want to walk you through where a few things are and how they work. So this is what you'll be met with when you pick your first template, but of course this will be replaced with the template. The desktop version is here on the right, the mobile version is here on the left. So you can have them up at the same time, or these buttons down here, you can show mobile version only, or show desktop version only, depending what you're working on. So I'm going to keep them both up for this. On your left here, you will have all your pages listed here. You will have your blog templates, so these are the ones that pull WordPress blog posts into them. So these will be things like your blog layout, your single post layout, so how your post actually displays once you've um, published it. Uh, a page, which that's for if you want to post a page through your WordPress account. And the 404, which is if someone gets completely lost and enters something that doesn't exist, this is what shows up if they're on the blog part of it. This is what shows up if they're on the, word, the website part of it. So there are two of them, don't worry. Down here you'll have your site canvases. So these are things that are on every page. So for example, menu, when you hover over it, you can tell the difference because here it just, it says 404 and a blue button and it's got a blank background. Here you'll see it's a stripy one and it says site canvas and then edit. So if I click on here, you'll see the menu one, the mobile menu, which you'll see here but not here because you don't show a mobile menu on a desktop. The information section, because that's across many pages. The Instagram section, the footer, and the contact box. So these are, the, these are standard ones. Depending on what template you've picked, there may be a few more, there may be a few less. That's just how it all works. So that is these. You then have a few buttons up here. So your site settings. This is where you can change your site name, connect your domain, um, your URLs, all that kind of stuff. We'll go into that more later when we're actually going to launch. You'll be able to see your design settings, which will take you up your color palettes, your fonts, things like that, and how you can select them all. And you'll see your media library, which is where all your images live. So once you're on that, you can see things like when you click on this banner, it kind of highlights and puts these two lines here. If we go to page, you'll then see what it's made of. So each section, when you click into it, so if I click at the about section, you'll see that then moved into here. So the banner, you can see the different sections that are in it. So it's got three galleries and you'll see here one of them, the little mobile button's not showing up because we only have two of them displaying on mobile. So this, this one here at the end doesn't show on mobile. You can turn it so it doesn't show on desktop and things like that. You can turn these ones off on mobile. There you go. So you can see them disappearing. That's what these buttons do. Um, if we go here, then we have some folders which are a little bit different. That is because we have different views for these sections. So see the arrows? When it's live, they click through the views. We just have them in little folders. So they're not complicated. They're just tidied away. And it means that show it knows exactly what it's showing for each different view. So then we have this section over here. I'll go into this one where there's no views. So you can change your name of the section here. You can also do that by just double clicking on it. Or there you can see your different canvas types and heights. So the height of the section that shows up. Your canvas background you can change. So if I want to change color, there we go. Uh, animation for default animations for that section. Transitions. So what that means is like if this goes to another picture, kind of how it will transition there. So will it fade? Will it slide? Things like that. And your scroll actions. So if someone scrolls to it, do you want something to happen as soon as they reach it? That kind of thing. So that is just a brief overview of the builder. Um, there's a few sections down here for adding different bits. So here's where you can add uh, your different textiles. You can add just rectangle, rectangles, icons, embed some code, add a video or add a gallery and your media library. So there's really not many buttons, so there's you won't get lost. Um, you also have your preview button for if you want to preview what your site looks like when it's live. You can click that, it will load it, and like I said here, you can go through the views and things like that. Or you can press this and load it up in a different window if you'd like as well. So the blue button publishes it live, which you'll need to sign up and register for your full account and put your card information in before you do that. And possibly the most important button of all, this little one down here. Now this brings up some fantastic people who are here to answer any questions you have on anything. So don't worry, they're very friendly and there are no stupid questions with them. Believe me, I've already asked them all, so 
don't worry. Uh, yes, yeah, so that's just a brief overview of where everything is and hopefully it will all make sense when we go in more and start customizing our theme.